Stephen Hawking Six Predictions About the Future Not only was Stephen Hawking unable to eat, but he was also unable to communicate for the majority of his 55 years of life, during which he was confined to a wheelchair. Nevertheless, he used to communicate with the assistance of a computer, even though the majority of his hypotheses and forecasts were discovered to be accurate. Stephen Hawking is no longer with us. However, before his passing, he made several dreadful forecasts regarding the annihilation of the Earth. If these forecasts were to come true, then our world might become extinct within the next 200 years. For a person to whom life had issued a two-year ultimatum, the fact that they lived 55 years with this disease demonstrated that the physicians were mistaken. Despite his situation, he did not allow it to discourage him. He was more interested in utilizing his condition as a source of strength. Owing to this ailment, he was confined to a wheelchair and was unable to eat or even speak. He was also unable to communicate. In addition to being fed through a tube, he was also bred through another tube. In addition, he was able to communicate using a specialized computer that was attached to his wheelchair. He would use a little muscle in his jaw to type on the computer. In other words, the computer transforms his thoughts into speech and communicates them to other people. Nearly every part of his body ceased functioning, but he possessed one item that was significantly more powerful than anything that a typical human being could possess. Stephen Hawking possessed an amazing brain that was capable of thinking and analyzing in a manner that was significantly superior to that of a typical human being. Even though he was required to use a wheelchair, he was able to produce eight books. He is considered the second greatest scientist in the world, after Einstein, and he revealed information about the universe that shocked the entire globe. Stephen Hawking put up hypotheses that were subsequently validated by scientific research, including the existence of black holes. On the one hand, many academics and scientists were astonished by his discoveries. On the other side, there are a great number of forecasts made by Stephen Hawking that have caused individuals to feel anxious and frightened. Within these dreadful forecasts, Stephen Hawking foretold how and the time at which our planet Earth and all of its people will lose their lives. First, let's have a look at what these six forecasts were. Number six, rather than aliens, Stephen Hawking considered that humans posed the greatest danger to themselves of all living things. According to what he stated in 2016, the vaccines that are now being developed to combat a wide variety of viruses, a significant number of them are genetically modified. Therefore, they are produced through the process of genetically modifying the DNA of the virus. As a result, the virus will not have any effect on humans. The belief held by Stephen Hawking was that vaccines of this kind are effective for a limited period because they protect us against the virus. However, over time, it has the potential to become the cause of the extinction of humanity due to mutations in their DNA. These days, pharmacists are working towards the goal of developing a single vaccination that is a combination of several distinct viruses that are lethal. One illustration of this is the rotatic vaccine, which was developed to protect infants who had just been born from the rotavirus. Changing the DNA of both cows and humans was used to create this vaccination. The rotavirus vaccination is unquestionably effective in protecting children from the virus. However, only time will tell whether or not it has any negative side effects. Number 5. During the 55 years that he was confined to a wheelchair, Stephen Hawking conducted a great deal of research on the universe and concluded that life exists beyond the surface of the Earth. And one day, extraterrestrial beings will overtake our world. Permit me to inform you that, according to the widely accepted scientific theory, the Big Bang was the event that resulted in the creation of our universe. However, Hawking's hypothesis was a little bit different. He felt that there were numerous Big Bangs that occurred, and that each Big Bang was responsible for the creation of a separate universe. Consequently, Stephen Hawking was a proponent of the existence of parallel universes. Even though there is no evidence to support the existence of a parallel universe, Stephen Hawking was certain in his belief that extraterrestrial beings will one day visit Earth to observe us and eventually take control of the planet. 
Number 4. The final scientific report that Stephen Hawking had written to prove his hypothesis of multiple worlds was released in 2018, just two weeks before he passed away. How about A Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation? was the title of the book. Although our universe was created as a result of the Big Bang, it is still expanding at this very moment, and there will come a day when our universe will no longer have the energy to expand any further. This is the hypothesis that Stephen Hawking put up in his paper. During that period, every star will gradually perish, and the cosmos will be enveloped in a state of darkness that will last forever. He believed that this particular moment would mark the moment when our universe would come to an end. To safeguard our species, Hawking had a great desire for humans to hunt for and establish on a planet that existed within a parallel world. Number 3. However, even though Stephen Hawking required the assistance of a robotic wheelchair, he was adamantly opposed to the use of these robots. Even though robots are designed to make our work simpler, they are continuously advancing in their capabilities. At the moment, there are a great number of robots that are capable of performing such duties through the use of artificial intelligence, which appears to be impossible for us. Stephen Hawking had a prediction that one day robots will become so strong that they will be able to construct another robot on their own. One example of the limited intellect that humans possess is the fact that they can only see in one direction at a time or perform one task at a time. However, it is possible to improve the intelligence of robots to any degree that makes it impossible for humans to compete with them. Iron Dome, which is a highly sophisticated air defense system, is an example of a robot that fits this description. Iron Dome is stationed in Israel. At the same time, this Iron Dome can destroy scores of missiles that are approaching from the sky. To add insult to injury, the robot that is contained within it can identify and eliminate the missiles that are due to fall into the inhabited region in a mere one millisecond. A prediction made by Stephen Hawking was that one day, robots will become so powerful that they will attempt to exert authority over all humans. And with time, they will achieve their goals. Number two, Every one of us is aware of the fact that violence is inherent to the human species, and it appears that it will never go away. The most recent conflict between Russia and Ukraine is a clear example of this. To provide support for their battles, humans have invented weapons that are capable of eradicating the entire human race in a single blow. It is also possible to refer to these as weapons of mass devastation. Two atomic bombs were dropped by the United States of America during World War II on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Despite the passage of time, the repercussions are still visible. It was predicted by Stephen Hawking that if people do not learn to coexist peacefully with one another, then one day they will begin to fight with one another, which will lead to the beginning of a nuclear war, which will be the day that this world will end. Number 1. One of the most dreadful forecasts that Stephen Hawking has made is that of the warming of the planet. Stephen Hawking thought that even if humanity can make it through every catastrophe without suffering any harm, this planet will become uninhabitable for human beings within the next 600 years. Then there will be no more forests, the oceans will become dry, and there will be no trace of human beings. One of the reasons would be the consumption of an excessive amount of fossil fuel but the most important one would be the continued growth of the population. The condition of the Earth will be comparable to that of Venus in 600 years, according to Hawking's prediction. There will be rains of sulfuric acid instead of water, and the winds will reach speeds of up to 360 kilometers per hour. The average temperature of the Earth will increase to a maximum of 250 degrees Celsius. In the same way that this heat is necessary for cooking food in an oven, it is also required here. How Stephen Hawking extended the doctor's two-year ultimatum to 55 years will be discussed. Similarly, by planting a tree, we may also contribute to the expansion of the lifespan of our planet. If you've watched this far, please share your thoughts in the comments box below for more fascinating subjects. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.